Hello and welcome to a special edition of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. I'm Kevin Oxter. Thanks for joining us. As we visit with ranching families around the country, one common theme we hear is the desire to leave a legacy and to pass the ranch on to another generation. But these days, with land values and cattle values where they are, and with estate taxes and many other issues to consider, the generational transfer of ranching assets is often a challenge. And it's a challenge many families tend to put off until they're forced to deal with it. So today, we're going to share some insights on this issue, and in particular, we'll bring you the story of the R.A. Brown Ranch in Texas, and hear from the Brown family about how they dealt with the issue of generational transfer. First, let's begin with some comments from producers about some of their concerns and the issues they see in passing the ranch on to the next generation. Generational transfer is not easy. It's not, and, and so what concerns me the most is that it gets hard, and it gets emotional, and it gets, and it gets really tough really quick, and then you stop. And that's what concerns me, is that you gotta keep going through it. Um, Troy and I recently been through it with his family, and we many times were with the lawyer and the accountant and all, all the family in the same room, and I just thought, wow, we're getting along through this process. I can't imagine if you're not getting along how much harder it is for people to go through the process. And so there are, there are multiple ways that people get bogged down and just quit. And that to me is the scariest part. You can't quit. You have to muddle through it and it's hard and it's emotional and it's, it's brutal. But you got to keep working through it because if we don't get things in place for the next generation to be able to smoothly run um, in when you're no longer here. We're going to lose a lot of opportunities in agriculture. Having just gone through that process, um, I think one of the hardest things that we were dealing with as we went through was all the uncertainty that comes out of Washington, D.C. You're trying to make plans based on what the tax laws are, based on what the regulations are. And those regulations and tax codes are such a moving target that it made it really difficult to make those plans. Obviously, uh, this is a put together place. We've bought it and we bought this with money that we've already paid taxes on. So, and it will be left to my son. So I have very strong feelings about the death tax. Uh, we think that we've already paid taxes on that money that we bought this place with. And so we should be able to transfer that ownership to him without a death tax. And uh, we feel very strongly about that. These places should not be chopped up. All the management that's gone into them, all the care that's gone into them should not be fragmented. And fragmentation is a very big problem in Texas. We have a thousand new people a day moving to the state. And obviously we could sell this place and um, be pretty well off and um, not have to worry about a lot of things, but that's not our desire and we would like to leave it to our son and we should be able to do that without being penalized. 